Hello, Brother Monroe here, and welcome to the United States Super Battleship Showcase. So, the United States gets access to Modern Battleship 1s, Modern Battleship 2s, and the Super Battleship. Um, and that's kind of the one that I want to have a look at. So, uh, it's not going to be the Iowa, I actually uh, have a video where I actually build a fairly faithful replica of the Iowa. This is going to be... Uh, this is this is this is going to be a big 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 ship, firing lots and lots and lots and lots of guns. Um, now, and again, the purpose of this series series the series that are the series is kind of to try and uh, show off what these uh, hulls are able to do. Um, so I'm not just trying to build the biggest, most powerful ship I possibly can. Um, but just kind of show what these guys, these guys can do. Now, Iowa herself, and the Iowa I built recently, I went with the 16-inch guns, so I kind of feel that a super version of it would have 18-inch guns. And the Americans are a fan of a triple. So we'll go with... Uh, We'll go with a triple, let's go with a quad triple 18 inch gun setup. I know I can fit more. Don't shout at me. <laughs> uh, can I move the tower back? No. I kind of like to eliminate that gap if I can. Uh, what happens if I go down a size? Go down a size? Are you mad? Uh, yeah, well, maybe I am. You don't always... Sometimes having a bigger ship is actually a disadvantage. Um, okay. That, that works. Okay. Secondary guns. What can we fit on the sides here? That's what I'm curious about. Six inch guns. Yeah. Okay. Let's go for a uniform secondary armament of six inch guns. Uh, with what? Three inch, yeah. Three inch kind of, I guess, tertiary guns. I'm not going to use the ones at the back there. I can't fit the, anything in those ones. These guns, by the way, just get in the way of the main turrets, which is why I'm not using them. Um, okay, and then. Go for the un go for the torpedo tubes. Why not? Might be interesting to see if they get any use. Uh, okay. Let's go for a double geared turbine, maximum bulkheads, obviously. Um, let's go with balanced boilers. See uh, how fast we can get this thing go to go. Because uh, the German one, I was surprised. You can't get that one to go very fast. Um, but this one, 28 knots, very achievable. Uh, let's go with a auxiliary diesel engine and an advanced propeller shaft just to give us a little bit of maneuverability, maybe. You know, all of that, of course. Uh, radar, yes, please. Long range range finder, sonar, uh, torpedoes. Let's go over 24 inch fast ones. Advanced hydraulic auto reloading turrets. Super heavy shells for obvious reasons. Uh, let's go with tube powder, super heavy 18 inch guns. I haven't done that in a while. It's basically, oh, you have armor. I, do, I care not because um, I can go through 64 inches of belt armor. Um, at, well, at point blank range, but still. Um, anti torpedo protection is going to be important. Anti torpedo 3. Yeah, let's go with Anti Torpedo 3, and I'm going to drop the speed by one knot to 27. And then fix the armor. Uh, can we go all the way up to 15 inch belt? That would be good. Yep. Seven and a half extended. Yep. Uh, eight inch deck. Yep. But. 
still going to be a three three-ish inch extended deck, and let's up our arm on the tower a bit. Twenty will be fine. Um, bit more on that. Nope. Bit more on that. Nope. Bit more on the nope. <laughs> bit more on the turret tops. Nope. Yeah, just more on the tower then. There we go. Um, nice. Well, there you go. Quick build uh, today, but uh, a nice looking ship. A very nice looking ship, if I say so myself. And I've gone with the Texas before. So let's go with the California. Okay. Well, uh, get a beauty shot maybe? Oh, yeah. I, actually, no. Let's do it in game for once. Because uh, I think the. Uh, the super battleship I did for Germany was a kind of sailing action shot or steaming. Spain has come with, well, whatever they've come with. Oh, very nice. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. Enemies to the north. Let's get ourselves turned around. Yeah, she's pretty fast for a hundred thousand ton ship, in my opinion. She's carrying a lot of uh, firepower. Right, enemy in sight. Guns are moving. Uh, that's probably a battleship. With a caliber of gun I can't quite place. And this is probably a battle cruiser, although it looks almost identical, which is interesting. Really can see the design similarities between the two. Yeah, I think this is the battle cruiser. Although weirdly, I think the battle cruiser's got fewer but heavier guns. Hard to tell. Don't think we're looking at any 18-inch monsters though. Unlike the California, of course. 6% accuracy to start off with, which is uh, certainly not terrible. Wait for the guns to reload. Because this is going to be loud. Here come the shells. Plunging far and a half. Good lord. <laughs> No hits, of course. But, uh. 
<laughs> that that would be in, uh, I would be intimidated if I was on those ships. She's decreasing a little bit. I think that's because uh, enemy ships are shifting about. Or we've switched targets. One of the two. It's like we've gone for the battle cruiser. They're able to return fire on us now. Up to 9% now. So 9% chance to hit with 12 barrels means we might get a hit. So we switch back to the battleships. Wow, a partial right on the turret. Must have a really heavily armored turret. Starting to spot the lighter ships. Um, light cruiser, maybe? Yeah, probably. A couple of torpedo launches. Um. Yeah, they're using 16 inch uh, shells on us. Ooh, couple of nasty hits there. Well, I think we just got one in return. tower and took out the enemy fire control that was a good hit Tell if they were able to get anything uh, off or not. Don't think they have. I think they're just uh, trying to screen the bigger ships. Our accuracy is okay, but as is usual for me, I'm hitting bugger all. Go. Yeah, look at that. 20% chance to hit, firing 12 guns. You'd expect a hit. And they're getting so many back on me, it's unreal. I am like getting the odd hit on them. Look at that, two more. Ridiculous. What? Yeah, well, we're going to have to move away. Don't like retreating, but I'm going to have to do it a little bit. Oh, my good lord. Just go with HE if that's the problem. Getting ricochets. Of course, big ship, big target. Now look at these bastards now. Mexicano, 16-inch TNT 
heavy shells. Okay. Look, 19% accuracy. How many hits they had on me? Uh, eight and a couple of tops. All right. And the Europa and La Grigia. Uh, same kind of deal, except she's firing Lidite standards. Oh, just absolutely taken mountains of hits here. torpedoes they did manage to get some, one off and then increased the flank all on or nothing seriously ultimate admiral have I offended you today? Six inch guns opening up on something. Yeah, look at that. Whole lot of nothing. Oh, there's finally a hit. It's not like they have lots of armor. In fact, look at their belt armor. It's terrible. Uh, too many torpedoes to close in there. Much as I would like to. No, we just need to keep heading away. Hopefully, actually, you know, score a hit on something. There we go. That's more like it. Standard bulkheads on these bastards as well. Overpen. Good hit. Absolutely having me for lunch here. However, I know well enough never to count out an American battleship. We apparently switched targets again. Oh, that's just brilliant. More torpedoes incoming. Miss. Miss. Really? Just getting hits after hit after hit on me. It's outrageous. That looks like a sneaky deaky torpedo. Uh, I think we're okay, actually. Look at that! Absolutely outrageous.
the amount of hits they're getting compared to me. Dear Lord, those destroyers are absolutely stuffed full of torpedoes. Yeah, no way we can close in. He scored a hit there. Yes. It's genuinely not fair. <laughs> Right, main guns on the Europa. Stop switching targets all the time. No chance of building up any accuracy if you do that. There we go. Blew up uh, one of our uh, secondary, probably the eight inch ammunitions. Uh, might have been a four actually. Good hit. That caused it to fall, fall out of formation, I think. But it'd be nice to the sinker. Although I've just noticed they're running out of shells, <laughs> which is interesting. Did they go re reduced? Yeah, they did. Miss. Oh, come on. have to switch to the Mexicano. She's more of a threat. She's better able to hit me. We've got a better angle on her as well. Come on! That's just uh, so frustrating. Yeah, average chance to ricochet, but uh, any time I hit, it ricochets. It's just rage-inducing when uh, you're playing a game. I, I, it's not dice space, but you know what I mean. And you just have a day like that. Just one of those days. Games decided to absolutely hate me. He running low on shells as well. He is. We are not. Partial? How? How? Gen genuinely how? The thickest armor is 13, right? And they are 23 clicks away, right? 23 clicks, we can go through 21 inches of belt or 40 inches of deck. And I know that it'll be boosted, but seriously. See if we can get the front turrets opening up. Yay, a hit, finally. It's the Lagrija. Like 
Oh, that's interesting. The Estrella's out of torpedoes. Hmm. I think she's the only destroyer out of torpedoes, but uh, that is very interesting. Again, they're just like 14. Okay, much better than 8 now, but before it wasn't like that. And yeah, they just score hits all day. And I score feckle. There we go. A hit, finally. Whole lot of miss. So range on those uh, to be those twelve. What about the destroyers? Twenty-two. Okay. I think Mecha kind of stopped firing actually. Oh, she has. Oh, that's interesting because she doesn't have a good enough accuracy. Uh, well, I'll probably never going to hit the battle cruiser, but let's uh, switch five to the battle cruiser for a little bit just for fun. Come on, she got terrible. Because uh, she's actually the one doing the damage to me now. Although she's uh, dancing around like nobody's business, so a hit seems pretty much out of the question. You four percent isn't terrible. There we go. Oh, it was an overpen. Thought that might happen. Try HE on her. Miss. Partial pen. Well, at least it was a hit for once. Yeah, out of interest, of the shells fired, six and a half percent, eighteen percent back. Yeah. Seems legit. Yeah, there we go. A hit, finally. Uh, maximum bulkhead uh, battle cruiser. Interesting. But uh, at least the flooding will slow her down a bit. Make her less able to kind of uh, zigzag all over the place. Like cruiser is like ah, <laughs> maybe we shouldn't sail close to the battle cruiser. Mm, maybe, nope, just short. Now we're starting to run low on shells, which is insane. 
because so many of them are just going in the sea. Partial. Oh, this is this is actually torturous. Oh, big hits. That's more like it. Focus back on the Mexicano, seeing as she's now taken up a lead ship as La Grigia has run away. Mexicano is firing again as well. Again, just bouncing off. Try HG. Bloody ricochets. There we go. Nice if we could take out some of our engines. Because it will slow her up. Switch the main guns to save and auto. Oh my god. This is actually so disappointing compared to how I thought the ship would perform. And I think it's genuinely bad luck. 6.8% accuracy. Really? Just taking hits all day. Staying at range hasn't helped. And I'm at the point in the video where I'm just like, screw it. <laughs> These videos are not supposed to be super long. Just supposed to show off what the ships can do or not do. Good hit on the make, Kano. days. Just, uh...
Look at that. 25%. Bang, 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 bang. Nothing. Or we'll get like an overpin on the funnel or something. Stupid. Right, you know what? Off. Don't have that. Oh, there goes the Mexicano. Ha <laughs> ha! Finally! Ammo detonation. Alright. I'll let you fire again. But it'll be time to turn away, I'm sure. The Genial. Taking a couple of hits off the six inch guns. Nope, don't waste main gun ammo on destroyers. <laughs> it's more like it. Uh, torpedoes. I'm gonna take one. Didn't do much damage though. How did you miss that? How? Uh... <laughs> Killed the uh, heavy cruiser with a torpedo there. Not even sure it was one of mine. Oh, it was. Kill the destroyer. Hit on the battle cruiser. Another hit on the battle cruiser. See, this is why I prefer going in close because actually stuff will happen. And then we explode and we are hooded. Well, I have to say, California, you did disappoint a little bit. Um, really nice looking ship. Should have been a really good ship, but uh, just really struggled there with. Uh, RNG and the dice gods. Anyway, um, I hope it was an entertaining look at what the ship can, well, one of the ways the ship can be fitted out. Um, hope to see you again next time when I will be doing Japan. Uh, if you want to send me Ultimate Admiral scenarios, the best way is through my Patreon. Hint, hint. Plug, plug. Um, link in the description below. Or you can join me live on Twitch um, and uh, send me your scenarios and uh, get to watch me do them out kind of there and then. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.